Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. I'm scooched over to the side because it's that time, guys. We're going to do a Will I Buy It. Will I Buy It's were created by Samantha March for us to be able to really talk about these new releases and if it's something we're interested in or if we're going to buy it or not. I always change my mind, so I may end up buying it, I may not end up buying it, but in the end, it's just fun to talk about new releases to see what we're interested in, right? And I love to hear what you guys are interested in down below because y'all get me excited about <laughs> certain things that I may not have been excited about in the past. Maybe. So let's get started. We are going to get started with a few different Instagram accounts. They are all listed down below in the description box. A lot of times we use Trend New, Chic Profile Official, and others. So I just want to let you know they are all they are all down below if you want to check out their Instagram pages because they're fabulous. They're really, really good. Another great one is Angel Naked One. Pictures of these this Hermes highlighter and it's like probably mm, it looks gold it looks gold but I don't know what kind of gold it's kind of like a pearlescent gold but I'm not quite sure I'll say a new girl on foundation <laughs> this looks so beautiful the packaging in itself looks incredible it's the Orchidae Imperial foundation Ooh, moisturizing tonal cream with a kabuki brush included. I love that these foundations are coming with brushes. I mean, sometimes they don't really, they aren't really good, but then sometimes they're really good. And I'm liking that. So, hmm. Start of sales, Japan, September 19th. That's a long time. <laughs> and Guys, we are already getting sneak peeks of holiday. I mean, fall already dropped for Chanel. And I kind of I kind of hinted in one of my videos that I'm, I'm pre-recording, guys, because I am going on a little trip and I'm pre-recording. But I did say in one of the videos that I was talking about that I did not purchase Chanel fall. And let's just talk about why. Let's talk about why. We'll just go there. Okay. So here's Chanel Fall. They came out with locks, the eyeshadow locks. They came, I think four shades, came out with the crayons, the stylo crayons. There's, I think, four shades. And they all kind of like go together, right? So, right? <laughs> so they all kind of go together. Well, hmm. I personally don't like the formula of the locks because they feel heavy and almost sticky to me on my lids. And like wet and that's just not something I really love and I'm not really a big liquid eyeshadow person I have to say and I'm not a big crayon eyeshadow person because they tend I have really oily eyelids I have really oily eyelids and I have a hard time wearing them and it's just not something I really wanted I have I've tried them before I've tried the formula and it's just not my favorite it's not my favorite and then I saw the nail polishes they did look pretty now Will I pick up a nail polish? I can't, I can not lie and say I will never pick up the nail polish because I may, I may, but I just bought Gucci nail polishes so I'm kind of like, I'm good with nail polish right now. I'm not ready for the fall nail polish yet, if you know what I mean. Are y'all ready for the fall? I'm not ready for that yet. What is going on? <sighs> Anyways, and what else? Um, oh, and the lipsticks. Now those lipsticks didn't even look like fall to me. They weren't deep enough. They weren't brown enough. I was like, I want some browns or berries. And I was like, coral <laughs> or something. Something brighter than what I was expecting. So I don't know, friends. What did you think of Chanel Fall? Did you like it? Did you did not? I don't know. You think they're going to drop something else? I'd be curious to know. Speaking of fall coming way too early, holidays already being like sneak peeks of holiday are already coming. So we have YSL is going to have, oh my gosh, this cushion. But look at this packaging. And okay, I kind of like the eyeshadow palette, but oh, I'm so tired of those like maroons. I want the maroons gone, I want the pinks gone, I want something different. I just want something different. I don't know, all the shades look kind of similar to me in the, in the paint. 
anyone else. Um, it looks pretty. I'm not a big fan of a lot of their lips. A lot of people love those loop shines. I'm not a big, biggest fan. I'm just not. So, um, that's a maybe. Maybe one or two. I don't know. It'll probably pass. Okay. So, we have a Charlotte Tilbury sneak peek of the Instant Eye Palette. Smoky Eyes are Forever 2021. I don't know why I'm just not drawn to Charlotte Tilbury recently. I just do not like, um, it's not that I don't like it. It's just not pulling me in. It's not something I have to have. Her latest releases have been less than, I mean, they just have not been very exciting. What do you guys think? Are you feeling the same way about Charlotte Tilbury? Let me know because is it just me? Because it may just me, me and I just may, it, I may have just moved on from that brand and then there are other ones that I want to try more. Uh, this one's not my fave. I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, mm, it's like same thing, different day with like maybe a different couple shades. That was kind of harsh, but it is. It really is. That's how I feel. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this is Sol Charlotte Tilbury Celestial Pearl Color Coded Eyeshadow. It's part of their holiday. And I'm quite interested in this, but it's got a little pinky in it. I don't know. I haven't tried this formula, the eyeshadow. I hear they're better than the other ones that she has. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. There's also one that's a palette of pearls, the Cosmic Pearl Luxury Palette of Pearls that looks beautiful. I'm kind of drawn to that one a little bit more. I might try that one. Like Maybe, maybe, it has a star thing in it. That's pretty. Looks like it has a little reflect to it too. Huh, we'll see. It's too soon, guys, it's too soon. That's holiday, what are we talking about? Moving on, Dior. Dior birds up a feather, guys. We've been talking about it on All Things Luxury Beauty or ATLB. We have, Lexi and I have a YouTube channel, ATLB. Y'all, if you want the latest for the steals and deals, all the new releases, things like that, that's where all that information is in one particular spot. And then atlb.luxc, atlb.lux is the website we keep everything, all that information on. So it's all in one spot for you guys. And Honestly, the reason why we did it is because it was hard for us to keep up with everything. That's the only, I mean, quite frankly, that's why. <laughs> so, like, the entire Dior Birds of a Feather collection. It comes out soon, or it may have already come out. I don't know. The 30th, I think. The 30th of the July. That's fall, friends. Fall. But you know what? I mean, the summer's, like, nearly gone, right? So... It's nearly gone. Time just, time marches on. It's crazy. But this Dior, there's a new Dior blush that I see here. That looks gorgeous. I just love the imprints and the attention to detail that Dior gives on a lot of their packaging and a lot of their products. I think that they do such a magnificent job of making the product beautiful right? Something desirable. I know that's crazy, but they do a good job about that. And the marketing on that is great. Now, their recent releases, their website is a hot mess. I don't know what is going on with their marketing and website and e-commerce. I have no idea, but it's been a hot mess. But they're still coming out with some good stuff. <laughs> All right. Legit Lashes Top Coat Waterproof Mascara by Huda Beauty. Now, this wand looks super little, right? I don't know. This may be something to try because I've been, we've been talking about how I need to branch out from Chanel, Le Volume de Chanel, try something new, but it's a top coat. So, you apply it on top of a mascara. It says it's coming soon. You know what I'm really interested in? There's a Shiseido 
the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint Fluid, fluid with sunscreen SPF 23. I'm quite interested in that. Uh, coming to Japan September 1st. It looks fun. I love a good tinted moisturizer, one that's just going to make your skin look gorgeous. Like skin, I love that. So I'm up for trying that. Would y'all be interested in me trying that? If it comes to the US, I'm not quite sure. It says it starts in Japan on September 1st, but it's interesting that they're releasing something like that in September. Like, oh Chanel, what do we have here? <gasps> oh, I haven't seen this. A Chanel Rue Cambon 31 Special Limited Edition Facial Powder. The symbol of Chanel style and its timeless elegance, and it starts in Japan on August 6th. That powder looks really good. Oh, it has like, I couldn't even use that powder, guys. It, it's Cambon Street, 31 Gabriel Chanel House in the heart of Paris. So, so it is the Chanel House. Oh, I really want to, I really want to. I want that. That'd be hard to use though, right? Huh, I didn't pick up the Tom Ford palettes. I feel like those are come and gone. I did not pick up any of the lipsticks or any of the Tom Ford palettes from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I just was not, I'm not drawn to it, guys. I don't know what is going on with me and Tom Ford, me and Charlotte Tilbury. I just don't know. <laughs> Y'all, Pat McGrath just showed her brand new palette. It's starring 10 Ultra Creamy and Long Lasting Shades. It's launching in August and it's exclusively, it's exclusively at patmagrath.com. All right. She was, she was teasing this palette and she kept putting rainbows and things like that. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be color and something different and not divine rose anymore. We have moved on and it's going to be great. And then we saw the picture of the palette and it's not color and it's not different. It's the same almost. <laughs> There's one shade in there that I want and it's this like duo chromey purple shade and that's it. So that's only what I want, Pat. <laughs> I have all the other shades I feel like in my Divine Rose 1 and Divine Rose 2 and all that and some of her other like quads. I feel like I have those already. So yeah, I'm not picking that up unfortunately. I was excited too, but oh, it's just not, it's not what I want. It's not what I want from Pat. <sighs> it's tough, right? What were you thinking about that collection or that palette? Were you thinking it was going to be the same as me or were you kind of, were you expecting what was released? I'm curious, quite curious. I'm looking through Trend Mood just to see if there's anything else that I might have missed or anything different. Oh, Huda we talked about. Oh, um, Wayne Goss came out with a new palette, but I'm not really interested in that either. It's just those pinks, and I'm just, I'm ready to move on. Now, this looks, inter this looks interesting. Tatcha has a new Indigo Overnight Repair 2-in-1 Serum, and it looks interesting because it's supposed to calm irritation, strengthen the skin barrier, and balance the microbiome, and it maximizes the skin's nightly renewal process for a soothing evening ritual that restores compromised skin while you rest. It's $88. I'm interested in that. I am. Hyaluronic acid, Mondo Grassroot, um, a proprietary complex of rice. It's Hadice 3TM, I think is how you pronounce it. August 1st. Hmm. Anything else? Uh, Laura Mercier came out with a new powder. I'm really good on powders right now, guys. I do not need any more powders. I am interested in 
trying more Laura Mercier. Oh, you know, also the major brow elimination gel by Patrick Tall. What do you think about this? Should I try it? I've been intrigued. I feel like his stuff is so intriguing to me. I don't know why, but that's, it's kind of this like short little wand and I don't know, it might be interesting to try. What do we think? What do we think? All right, y'all, I think that rounds up the Will I Buy It for right now. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I appreciate you guys being here. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you're interested in. I'm so curious to know. I will leave my latest video right here, and I'll see y'all over there. Bye, y'all.